Hey guys, how are we today? Today I'm going to be talking about a uh, JavaScript function. Function is get element by ID. This function is used to return a reference to an element within your web page, giving you the ability to change properties in real time. In our particular example, we're going to create a div element and we are going to be putting some text within that div element and then changing the text in real time by referencing the element using the get element by id function within our javascript function okay so this uh, information here is uh, presented on the developer.mozilla.org website it's the api for javascript and uh, it shows you the syntax for the get element by id function okay the element is the uh, reference to the element that we're going to be looking at which is in our particular case the div element and then we've got the container for the get element function which is the main document for the site and then the get element by id method itself and then the property within that uh, the parameter is the id which is going to be the uh, id of the div tag that we use at the time okay so the definitions uh, for element and ID are element is the reference to an element object or null if an element with it, the specified ID does not exist in the document. And the ID is a case sensitive string representing the unique ID of the element being sought. Case sensitive being the, uh, being the key phrase here. If you get the cases wrong, then you will have difficulty referencing the element. And then we are going to be creating a div tag and the w3 schools says a div tag defines a division or a section in an html document the div tag is used to group block elements to format them with css divs are also used as dividers uh, which you can use um, to contain tables other divs text and other elements within your page in our simple example we're going to be putting text inside our div body and then changing that text in real time Hope you find this uh, little demo helpful and uh, hopefully I'll do a few more JavaScript demos in the future for you guys. Okay, without further ado, we need to create our div element, okay, to put some text in. Okay, so chevron div, chevron, chevron, forward slash div to close the tag. At the moment, that's not going to give us anything on the screen. Let's save it, run it in Chrome. There you go, nothing. So let's put some text in here. Hello. Save it, run it, launch it in Chrome. There's our text. Bloody marvelous. First website. Okay, so this is a real live website. Not very practical, not very constructive, but at the end of the day, that's not what it's here for. It's here to demonstrate the use of how to update text within a div in real time using get element by ID and JavaScript function. So let's get on with it. Before we can do that, we need to give our div an ID, which is more like an address that we can reference it by. So ID equals quotes, give it a name. What should we call it? Our div. Why? Because we can. There we go, our div. It can be any name. Just remember it's case sensitive. So when you reference it, you have to make sure you obviously get the, the case sensitivity correct. That is it. Let's save that. Let's go to a new line and now we need to create the button which we're going to use to fire the event which will update which will call it the javascript function which will then update this text okay so it's going to be an input type and the type is going to be a button okay and we want a double quotes not a number two um and on the button we want to give it a label uh, we can call it uh, run or go so value value equals quotes go quotes and that will put the word go onto our button and then we need to wire up the uh, event which is fired when the button is pressed which calls our function to do that we actually call the on click event and we assign it our function so equals quotes and we give it the function name we're going to call our function fnc demo parentheses quotes okay and then we're going to close off the button so forward slash close chevron let's save it okay let's run it and there we go we've got hello we've got a button press the button nothing happens press f12 okay look down the bottom of the screen reference error 
funk demo is not defined well obviously it's not defined because we haven't written it yet this incidentally is the uh, chrome debugger screen most modern debuggers come with uh, sorry most modern browsers now come with a built-in debugger which you can access by pressing f12 and uh, if you suspect something's not working and you want to pinpoint the issue on your site then f12 it look at the console and look what errors pop up and you can find plenty of errors by doing this a very handy tool okay so let's get on with writing the script so we need to get up to our head and in here we need to create the script tag to tell the browser that it's about to execute a script force our script to close the actual ta script tag and then create our function so we want to create the function keyword and then the function name down here look function demo Control C, Control V, parentheses, open curly, close curly. That's the function defined, but obviously it's not going to do anything at the moment. We can type in a simple JavaScript pop up box called alert, which is very handy for doing demos and, you know, um, checking your code's working, functions are being called, etc. Very handy little thing. And uh, in here we can put in um, the word hi, for example. You can put anything in there. Save it, run it. <coughs> excuse me press go and where you go look up with your JavaScript alert hi so we know the function now being called which is fantastic so now all that's left to do is to uh, implement the get element by ID function which is what this subject is all about very simple we create a variant type var and uh, e for element you can give it any name you want it doesn't have to be e it could be lm it could be anything you like equals get element by ID notice the case sensitivity of this function very important otherwise it won't work and then uh, parentheses semicolon to close the line off single quotes and then in here you need to put the ID of the div that you want up to date the text for so our div goes in with the single quotes very simple okay now this isn't going to work and I'll explain why in a minute let's put a new line down here and let's type lm dot inner text okay so this is going to look at the inner text of that element so here's the element okay div the inner text is hello okay so we're now referencing the hello within this element element dot inner text okay equals and then the text that we want to replace um, the current text with uh, so we're going to give it the word world why not hello world okay now close that line off with the semicolon now that pretty much is it okay save the file run it now this isn't going to work as i just said uh, and i'll show you why in a minute okay press go nothing happens why is it not happening well remember f12 to get your debugger up look at the element that's the area that's caught in the console uncaught reference error get element by id is not defined what well we know get element by id exists because we've already seen it here Oh, where's she gone we've already seen it here in the uh, API get element by ID okay however if you notice it's prefixed with the word document which is your document um, browser document the page where uh, which is displayed in the browser itself which you need to prefix um, in front of get element by ID okay that's very important very very important otherwise you're always going to get the same old probs okay so document dot and I can't spell document 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 there we go dot get element by id rd now let's save it and let's give it another go run launching chrome press go and voila hello world fantastic so that worked which is great that's a, a success now uh, let's toggle that so um let's create another function control c this function Control V. Now you can obviously do this uh, a multitude of different ways. I'm not going to do it a multitude of different ways. Um, I'm just going to do it a very simple way, and that is call this one Funk Demo 2. And uh, I'm going to change the text back to Hello in our div. Okay, and then clearly I need to create another button, and we're going to call this one Go To. And on click, we're going to call Function 2. Save that run that ok 
Okay, two buttons. Go gives us world. Go to back to hello. There you go. How about that? Eh? So not too complicated. Very simple example on uh, JavaScript, a bit of HTML, and uh, how to call functions within um, the the H or how to how to script the function and how to call the function within an HTML document. So I hope you found it useful. Like I say, nothing great. Simple tip, very useful. Till next time, guys. Have a great one. Take care. From me, bye-bye for now. At the moment, if we run this, we won't see anything. So we can actually run this within, uh, let's run this within Chrome. Okay. Interesting. Okay. And then we need to create the script for the button. So we go to our head which we are already in, so I'll put all this in the wrong place. We need to put some text on the button so we know what the button does, and we want to uh, call this one, for example, we'll call it go, so we have to enter value, equals quotes go quotes. That'll put the word go onto the, uh... I'm doing it again, dude.